Susan Bordeaux's essay, The Male Body, A New Look at Men in Public and in Private, delves into the complex relationship between masculinity and the male body. Through a thought-provoking analysis, Bordeaux challenges traditional notions of male embodiment and scrutinizes how men's bodies are portrayed and perceived in both public and private spheres. Her exploration sheds light on the evolving landscape of gender and offers a fresh perspective on the male body's place in contemporary society. Bordeaux initiates her discourse by highlighting the historical disparity between the representation of female and male bodies. While the female body has been scrutinized and objectified for centuries, the male body has often been overlooked, relegated to a secondary status in the realm of visual culture. This contrast underscores the male privilege deeply ingrained in societal norms, wherein men have largely escaped the same level of objectification as women. Bordeaux proceeds to dissect the shift in this paradigm, emphasizing how contemporary media and advertising have gradually transformed the portrayal of the male body. She argues that there is a growing emphasis on the male body as an object of desire, much akin to the objectification of the female body. This transformation can be seen in advertising campaigns and popular culture, where images of the idealized male physique are employed to sell products and services. Such a portrayal not only commodifies the male body but also sets unrealistic standards that many men feel compelled to attain. The essay touches upon the concept of the gaze in understanding how the male body is perceived. Bordeaux draws attention to the shifting dynamics of the gaze, moving from the traditional male gaze on the female body to the emergence of the gay gaze on the male body. This transition signifies a broader change in societal norms and the acknowledgement of diverse sexual orientations. It also highlights how the male body is now subject to multiple gazes, each with its own set of expectations and desires. Furthermore, Bordeaux explores the concept of the metrosexual as a response to the changing ideals of masculinity. The metrosexual is depicted as a man who is attentive to grooming, fashion, and self-presentation. This concept challenges traditional notions of masculinity, where men were expected to be rugged and uninvolved in personal aesthetics. The metrosexual represents a more fluid and open understanding of masculinity, one that is adaptable to changing cultural expectations. Bordeaux also delves into the realm of body modification, emphasizing how men are increasingly turning to cosmetic surgery and other procedures to enhance or alter their bodies. This phenomenon reflects a broader cultural shift towards valuing appearance and aesthetics, and it underscores the pressure that men feel to conform to societal ideals of beauty. The essay then examines how the male body is represented in sports, particularly in the context of male athletes. Bordeaux argues that male athletes are often depicted as superhuman figures, their bodies celebrated for their power and strength. This portrayal reinforces traditional ideals of masculinity associated with physical prowess. However, it also places immense pressure on male athletes to maintain peak physical condition, sometimes at the cost of their health and well-being. Bordeaux concludes her analysis by emphasizing the need for a more nuanced understanding of the male body. She encourages society to recognize the diversity of male experiences and to challenge the rigid norms that have historically defined masculinity. By doing so, she argues, we can create a more inclusive and accepting environment in which men can express themselves authentically without being constrained by societal expectations. In summary, Susan Bordeaux's essay, The Male Body, a new look at men in public and in private offers a critical examination of the evolving representation of the male body in contemporary culture. By tracing the historical context and dissecting the changing dynamics of the gaze, 
Bordeaux sheds light on the objectification and commodification of the male body. Her analysis highlights the emergence of the metrosexual and the impact of body modification, as well as the enduring influence of traditional masculinity in the realm of sports. Ultimately, Bordeaux calls for a more inclusive and nuanced understanding of the male body, one that allows men to express their identities authentically and challenges the constraints of societal norms.